Meanwhile, protesters wasting no time getting their messages out to the thousands here in Chicago for the DNC. Demonstrators marching down our iconic Michigan Avenue. Look at the size of that crowd. This is following a rally in the heart of the city's downtown Loop neighborhood. So, Nick, how is the city planning on protecting the DNC, and how are they dealing with the protests that have already started, even though the DNC hasn't as of yet? Hannah, good morning. First, to answer your first question, they plan on protecting the DNC and those attending the rally by making sure the demonstrators stay in designated areas. Police have already started shutting down roads and putting up barricades around the city, with protesters gearing up for a march and multiple rallies. Today, not far from the United Center, where the Democratic National Convention will host each of their nighttime events. Take a look at this video, capturing an intense moment where police tried to confront a small group not far from the world-famous Grand Park, home of Lollapalooza's music festival. Now, that scene happening as protesters marched down Michigan Avenue in the first official demonstration surrounding this week's convention. A massive crowd taking over the heart of Chicago's downtown Loop neighborhood for several hours on Sunday, calling for action on reproductive and LGBTQIA rights and an end to the Israeli-Hamas war in the Gaza Strip. Now, protest organizers say that kind of broad unity across various special interest groups can be expected throughout the week. Tomorrow is what we're calling the event of the season. Almost 270 organizations from across the U.S. have joined the coalition to march on the DNC. And tens of thousands will be out on the streets starting tomorrow, August 19th at noon, right here at Union Park, to say stop the genocide now, end U.S. aid to Israel, and free Palestine. Mr. Abudeo, with whom News Nation has spoken many times, says that he and his other group of demonstrators, they're ready. And Chicago is bracing for the masses. Hundreds of additional police officers from across Illinois and Wisconsin have been assigned to assist with convention security. Hannah, the demonstrations will take place each day of the convention, and organizers say they expect the crowds to be bigger than the ones held by the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee last month. Oh, I've already seen a lot of excitement, a lot of people in downtown Chicago. Nick, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.